let's go ahead and see why you're possibly a murderer. Maybe I should change her clothes. Let's do that. Maybe I'll put her into her regular clothes for once. Um, how do I? Wardrobe. Change. We'll put you in that. Usual attire. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't have enough fashion farthings to dress up the dog. <sighs> okay, anyway. Let's see what's going on. Yes. <laughs> I need to figure out why she's possibly a murderer. Ah, the start of another lovely day. Ernest, pour some tea, would you? Yes, miss. You seem to be in a rather gay mood this morning. Have you had some good news or something? Oh, you noticed. Is it that obvious? I thought I was managing to hide it quite well. No, like you're way happier than ever. <laughs> like a poker player. You know, we were... You, you know you were humming. Loudly. So I have to figure out. <coughs> oh, God. Well, I popped into the Lucky Clover up the road yesterday, and you know, the boutique owner, Miss. owned by Miss Price. Anyway, I saw the most delightful hat, but I just couldn't decide if I should buy it or not. But, blimp's hard, isn't it? Just so hard. <sighs> she was just about to close for the day, so I had to leave it, but I've been thinking about it all night. And in the end, I realized it was all a waste of time. And in the end, I decided I'm going to splash out and buy it. So it's time for a trip to the Lucky Clover. Ugh, I was hoping there'd be more to it than a hat. Cheryl, worrying about hats is not a trifling matter. It's what an English gentlewoman does and should do. I'm very excited about it, miss. I'm sure you're going to look simply stunning in it. Thank you, Ernest. By the way, have either of you noticed there seems to be a bit of a commotion going on outside? I can hear a lot of voices, yes. Oh, there's rather crowd gathering. I say, I wonder what's going on. Hmm, perhaps we should go and investigate. Oh, everyone seems to be gathering outside the Lucky Clover. I don't see any pedals wagging, it looks serious. I can't really see. I wonder what's going on. Miss Layton, look, there's a policeman outside the shop. The police are on the scene. Some kind of incident must have taken place then. Yes, I dare say. Gosh, let's go and ask if they know of the people milling around, or ask some of the people milling around if they know anything. Um, excuse me. Sorry, lad, I'm right in the middle of throws here. Big news this is. Big, very big news indeedy. If this doesn't make the front page in the morning, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Of course, I gotta write the article first, but, uh, hang on! You're the lad from the Leighton Detective Agency. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Whatever's going on here, Douglas? And Miss Leighton, cranky! Sorry? Have I, uh... Deary me, it's her! Miss Leighton's here, look! It's her, the woman herself! Can it really be true? Open bracket, personally, I don't believe it. Close bracket. What have you done, Cat? Everybody's practically jumping out of their skin at seeing you here. I know. I have no idea what's going on. I'll just go and ask one of the police officers. I don't think that'll be necessary, Ernest. Someone's coming over. Look, I don't believe I've ever seen him before, have you? Who are you? Chief Inspector Britannius? This man... Whoa, that chin game is very strong, even though it's a skinny chin. He looks evil as hell. I feel like this man is the murderer. I mean, I know you shouldn't judge people on their looks, but I mean, come on. Well, Miss Catria Leighton, I believe, of the Leighton Detective Agency? Yes, that's me. I don't believe we've met. Britannius is the name. Chief Inspector Britannius. I'm from Scotland Yard. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Chief Inspector. There's quite a crowd here, isn't there? What's happened? Don't speak to me, please. It's against protocol to converse with suspects. Suspects? No, no, I'm... 
Catriel Layton, I'm arresting you on suspicion of perverting the course of justice and... No, you can't arrest Miss Layton. A pound per cat? Uh, just a moment, please, Chief Inspector. What am I even accused of doing? Why are you arresting me? Please, you're, ex you're a suspect for the murder of Clover Price, proprietress of the Lucky Clover. Miss Price? The Lucky Clover? Murder? Murder? Yeah, that's what he said. Catria Layton, wanted. Okay, well... Well, dang, guess... Guess somebody actually died. You mean, Miss Price has been killed? Impressive acting, love, but don't you think you're rather overplaying it? I know you did it. I didn't know anything about this until just now. Oh, really? Well, perhaps this little precis will jog some memories for you. This morning, it was reported that the proprietress of the Lucky Clover, Miss Clover Price, was lying motionless on the floor of her boutique. Police rushed to the scene, but the victim was already dead. I, I don't believe it. Poor Miss Price. We've managed to pinpoint the time of death as yesterday evening, and according to witnesses you, Miss Layton, were seen entering the shop at that exact time. So, darling, what more can I tell you? Obviously it was you. Well, I did go to the Lucky Clover yesterday, you're right. I was thinking about buying one of the hats in there. But Miss Price was perfectly fine when I left. You can carry on lying to me down at the yard. Constable, take the suspect in. Yes, sir, Chief Inspector, sir. Miss Layton, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to accompany me down to the station. N no Miss Layton isn't a criminal. This is madness. Ernest is right. Please hear me out. Come quietly, please, miss. Otherwise, I'll regret uh, to say I'll have to cuff you. Gosh, they really are going to arrest you, miss. Cuff me, but I'm no killer. Sorry, miss, but I have to follow procedure in these matters. We're flogging a dead dog, cat. I'm not going to listen. <laughs> this must be the scoop of the century. The esteemed detective Catria Layton accused of murder, and I thought nothing could surprise me. <sighs> Looks like they're determined to pin this on me. All right, everyone, stand aside, please. Britannius, what in Dickens is going on here? Well, well, what a surprise. Not. Thought you'd be making an entrance before long, Hastings. Come on, what evidence have you got she did it? I was expecting you to protest her innocence, seeing how she solves the majority of your cases for you. Whoa, dang, fighting. I'm not protesting anything. All I'm asking is what proof have you that gets the killer? Oh, I'll get proof, Hastings, just as soon as I get her in the sweat box back at the yard. That's not warranted and you know it. What's with the strong arm tactics, eh? Oh, I can't hear you. Must be because I'm in charge of this investigation, not you. You might be in charge, but I'm not gonna sit back and let you get away with course and a suspect. Okay, what? Jeez. Look, like there's a bit of a dogfight going on among the pigs. Wow, Cheryl. I'm glad they can't hear you. I have a nasty feeling that if I let Chief Inspector Britannius arrest me, I'll be on a one-way tr track to jail. So I think I'm just going to make my excuses. Bye. <laughs> Where are you going, darling? Not trying to skip town, are we? Bother. I'll distract the miss. Uh, run while you can. Thank you, Ernest. You're a lifesaver. You're still not getting paid for this. For you, miss, any time. Sorry, Chief Inspector, but I can't let you pass me. You? <laughs> You're trying to protect her, are you? I don't think so. Sorry, I, I won't budge. I can't get around him, sir. What? <laughs> They're terrible at their jobs. Catria Layton, stop right there. Sorry, uh, I've forgotten how. Where are you going, Cat? N no idea. Huh? Yeah, basically, a as far away from here as possible. But the end of Chancer Street will do for now. Come on, Cheryl, get those legs working. So now we're on the run? Huh. Yes, we are on the run. <laughs> wow, I like how we're on the run, but I'm still just kinda, well, I'm just gonna, 
I'm gonna check some stuff out here. Don't worry about me. I'm still gonna expect, inspect. Oh, a puzzle. Look, Cheryl, there's a puzzle hiding here. You should be the one hiding from the police, remember? Oh, but I can't leave a puzzle unsolved. It's not what a gentlewoman does. Been running from the police is fine. All right, let's give her a go. But we really should be fleeing. Ha <laughs> ha Good fun there. Using three shapes, see if you can make four identical fan shapes. You can only move the squares. Select the square by pressing and holding A, then rotate. The fan shape is made by joining the radius of the circle with the arc to a second radius. Wait. Um, oop. Fan shape. Fan shape. Wait. You only move. There's only two squares I can use. Um. Uh, um. Oh no. I've fucked up. Uh. <laughs> Wait. Or have I? Oh no, I think I have. Uh. Uh. Beautiful. What? How? <laughs> What? Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, that doesn't work though. Joining the radius of a circle with an arc to the second radius. That'd be a, not a very. Oh! 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 oh I'm so smart! It didn't. It didn't say that it. Wait. Not quite. A little more. There we go. I get it. Cause I the two on top is. Hi, RC. Welcome. Just like the Yay! I'm so smart. Once I figured out the shtick, you did it. Dividing the circle into four makes fan shapes at the top, bottom, left, and right. Fantastic. <laughs> you get it. How are you doing today, RC? We need to sort sounds out. Which sounds? What, what, did that not work? How did you manage to spot that puzzle up there? In the light, it's dazzling. Very kind of you to say so, Cheryl. I always aim to dazzle. Because it, it played your sound, did you not hear it? Or was it too low? You can hear the game at least though, right? For sure. You've discovered the, discovered the Coco Conch. It's been added to your collection. Or do you just, or did you, do you just mean like, why is there a conch in a Game and commands are really, again? Like, am I, what the hell? Let me check it again. Just a second. No, the game, oh. Wait, what about me? Okay, I, yo, yeah, yeah, I'm, Fairly loud. That's weird. Cause yeah, I messed with it in the game. Um, wait, filters desktop. Audio. Yes. Desktop audio. Yeah, it, there's filters on both of them, so I don't know why it's so loud still. I try not to make the desktop one too quiet because obviously I play games with you guys sometimes. But. Okay, how is the, is that a bit better with the game sound? I thought you just meant that you couldn't hear it. And I'm like, no, the, the, the alert, but I mean, the, the alert sound is pretty loud. Oh, okay, no, I gotcha.
All right, that should be a slightly better bounce. I dropped the um, I I dropped it by a few decibels. Now uh, the great clock keeps going no matter what happens, and I'll do the same. Very good. Game's better. Okay. Yeah, sound alert should be like the same level as the game. I guess I should just probably leave. Oh wait, hit coin, hit coin. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to the end of the street. But yeah, I think I might treat myself to um, something for dealing with this bullshit for so long. But my car is getting repaired, so there's that. And I will not have to pay very much, which is also good. <sighs> if not, you should. You gotta eat something. I made pancakes today. Ciao, Bella. Pleasure to see you again. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to listen, but you are being chased by the police. Go to Lipsky's. They will help you, I'm sure. Good idea. We'll head that way. Don't let them catch you. I know you're not the killer. No one who appreciates fine food as you do can commit such a crime. You know, I don't know if I could say... Um, thank you. Ciao, and be careful. Lucky that he likes you, eh, cat? Yes, all the eating here has paid off. Oh my gosh. I never thought your overactive appetite would be getting us out of trouble. Yeah, broth in the slow cooker. I gotcha. Anyway, no time for yapping. Let's hightail it to Lipsky's place. You're right, Cheryl. I can't afford to let them catch me. They think I'm a murderer. Oh, well, oh, that's okay already. Murder. <laughs> hat. It's my hat. You found a clue, murder! <laughs> Yay! I gotta figure out what I want now though. Maybe a sandwich. I haven't had a good sandwich in a while. Of course, Cat is not the killer of Miss Clover Price, the owner of Lucky Clover, but who is? I don't know. Help me, bakery bros! Well, not before I check for hint coins. Oh, it's the scary butler, another puzzle. No, you did ring fit today? Nice, I did a little bit of Beat Saber. I, I, I found out that I just had to change the mod um, version and then installed it again and it, it worked fine, so. And I played some new songs and then I was like, okay, let's enough Beat Saber for now. But I, I should do ring fit again soon as well. Cause I need to work my whole body, not just my arms. I wish we could stop and get some breakfast. It takes a lot of calories to keep these four paws running, you know. Well, I could give you a puzzle to take your mind off of it. How about this one? Yes, when the children hunger, give them puzzles, not food. Sushi or Mexican or whatever. Oh no, I gotcha. Piping hot pizza has just been delivered, so it's time to get it on the plates, pronto. It's been pre-sliced, so you just need to make sure all three children have precisely the same amount. But, there's always a but. Each child has a particular ingredient he or she doesn't like, so you can't give them slices with toppings they won't eat. Um, they don't eat egg. No egg for you. They don't eat tomato. They don't eat bacon. Fuck's wrong with you? Here, you can have that, I guess. Um, they don't like the tomato. You can also have that. No egg for me, please. Um, ah, oh, shit. This has egg and bacon. They need to have precisely this. This is a lot. Okay, so that's one and then extra. He would get like a whole half. That's too much. That's too much! What if I took you out of here? And then you just have one extra. One extra. That's a lot of pizza. Shit. Um. Oh, wait. Ha da da da! No, that's too much. God damn, this is hard. Um. You don't like egg, so nothing. There's a lot of egg. And these other ones. Oh, and he, I gave him bacon. He didn't want the bacon. That's. They don't want tomato. Wait. But da da. That's. 
No, that's wrong as well. <laughs> what if we, um... Okay, let's... Let's give you a full pizza. And then you can get that. And then... Take that. That? Um... Uh, that's too much pizza. They should not have a whole pizza. Yeah, it's my brain. Um, okay, we're gonna, you know what? Menu, try again. Cause four pizzas split between three kids. Oh, I guess they j they just each get like eight. Yeah, okay. I guess they'd uh, get eight quadrants. I'm gonna, we're gonna get a slight hint. To divide the four pizzas equally among the three children, it means each child needs eight slices. Got that. Start from what you know. On the center left pizza, there's a piece with ingredients disliked by the left hand and right hand child. So let's give that to the middle child. Donk. Okay, so that's three. That's also three. Put that on there and that's five. Then it's impossible to give him eight. What? Uh, wait, oh no. Um, five. What? Six, seven. But what? But there's no. Wait a second. I'm confused. How am I so. They need eight slices each. But. It feels impossible. Maybe not. Maybe just the bacon has to... Okay, so that would be... Five, six, eight. So this is eight. That's already eight right there. So that's two, six... Oh! Seven, eight. But then the bacon! He doesn't like the bacon! Shit! Oh, wait! Oh, no, that can't go... What? You, this, you're... Oh... F fuck! This is hard! My brain, um, so you need five more slices. Well, that's six. I guess seven, eight? Um, this is eight. Oh, wait, did I do it? Accidentally? Oh, okay, well, um, that seems, that seems right. Well, okay. This puzzle's got some bite. I did it! I guess. <laughs> you just have to flop it around for a while until you're like, okay, well that's... You did it! Amazing! Who'd have thought these three small kids could eat four large pizzas? Not a single slice left for me. Wow, well... That's why you don't have kids. That you could have three kids and no pizza, or zero kids and four pizza. And you know what? I'm all about the four pizza. Well, it was a good one, wasn't it? was interesting, I'll give you that, but it won't make me fat. Well, but, I mean, most people don't want to be fat. But... Hmm, I might have to resort to hiding in bushes. I must remember that they're here. They're, like, really high off the ground. Are you okay there, cat? Oh, oh. Hey, coin. I guess there are a lot of puzzles in this game that are just kind of, like, keep doing things until you figure it out. 
rather than them being like very straightforward, I guess. Um, oh yeah, I need to go to the Lipskis. Well, we made it this far, at least. Fugitives. How did we end up in this mess? I hate needing to flee. One's bad enough. <laughs> oh, look. Alex and Hans are both here. Let's ask them if they have any good ideas for us. Perhaps they'll know how we can slip away from here unnoticed. They'll make a, um, a full-size cake of me. Hey there. He has a puzzle. Well, I mean, that works, too. No, you do. I'm pretty sure. No, you. That's all the same shit. I'm sorry. I really need to stop looking at my Instagram like notifications after going live because it's just full of like graphic designers. I hate it. Hello, Ethel. How are you doing today, darling? Ah, detective. I hear news. Me and Bratzi have been very worried about you. You are a murderer! Police are saying this! I know, that's why I had to get away. But now we're on the run. Not because I'm a murderer, but because I'm not a murderer. Let's get that straight. No, yes, we... But we know you are not killing woman. Thank you, it's so nice that people believe in me. We want to help you. Those police are chasing her, Bratzi. What is the best way for her to escape? Hmm. No, yes, I have idea. If you can work out. We're, well, I mean, uh, sure, I'll lift some weights for freedom. Can you find your way through the maze? To get from the starting point at the bottom left to the gold to the top right, you need to break through one section of wall. Slide the circle over the section of the wall that you think needs to be destroyed. You need to break a section of wall to... If you broke that, that wouldn't help. So, what if you broke this one? That wouldn't help. Um, uh, let's work backwards. That might actually work better. Nope. Nope. Da! Chakong! Could you go? A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. I'm so good at puzzles. You did it! You found your way through the maze! This looks to be some kind of treasure chamber. It's cursed! Yay, amazing breakout. 96 puzzles. No, yes, you try plan? I think police will not catch you this way. Bratzi, wait, your plan will not work! Why do you say this? You have a better idea, hmm? You are always being smart, Alex. Ha ha ha. Uh-oh, they'll start baring their teeth before long. If detective wants to escape from police, this is better way. More advice about evading the law? Oh, there's a double puzzle. Oh, jeez. All right, glad to hear. Amazing breakout too. Okay. Oh, can you find your way through the maze? To get from the starting point at the bottom up to the goal at the top right, you need to break through two sections of wall. Okay, over the sections they need to be destroyed. Bad. Oh, and uh, let's see. Oh, well, this doesn't go very far. So, if I broke through that. That would just take me to that. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait. So if I broke this, man, da, da, that. Oh, I'd have to break multiple. Okay. Well, either way. Oh no, this that's actually really easy. But up, but um, brain powers activate. Doom. 
This puzzle's got some. I wonder if there's multiple solutions. If you call me Shirley, she comes for nothing. Well, don't. If the maze is so tricky that you have to destroy walls to reach the end, it must surely be hiding some extremely valuable treasure. Probably. Okay. What is there? A third one now? Are you gonna work together? No, yes. You solved puzzle. You see? This is good way to escape from police. What? Are my breaking walls? Wait, Bratzi, your way is not working either. Hmm. What must she do then? How does she stop police from catching her? Maybe we need completely new idea. Not running away. Something else. New idea. Hmm. Ah, yes. I have answer. What are you thinking, Bratzi? We hide detective in dog and shop. In place police not. Do not look. Hide us? But where? The trash. In here. What do you think? In there? Really? In the giant bear? I don't know. A cat and a dog in such close proximity. It's no time for arguing. In, in, in. All right, all right. Come on, Cheryl. Ugh. <sighs> Hello, hello, hello. What have we here? Two likely lads. Haven't seen a certain Catria Layton by any chance, have you? Detected from agency down street? No, yes. No, yes? Are you taking the Michael, sir? Come on, spit it out. Where is she? She came through a shop and exited through back entrance. <laughs> she went out through the back. Lads, out the back, lads, after her. Good, stupid police are gone. Wow! <laughs> oh, is this is this game a cab? Is that is that what I'm getting from this? Detective dog, you can come out now. They were in the bear. I knew it. They were in the bear. Oh, that was a real struggle. Sorry, inside of giant teddy bear was too small for you. I think I remembered when I made this teddy bear cake. There is big space inside, but uh, not big enough. Oh, it wasn't too bad space-wise. It was just a struggle not to eat any of it. It smells so good. I really thought she was gonna start nibbling at any moment. I mean, I would, probably. Alex, Hans, thank you so much. You've really thrown the police off the scent. Hmm. It was nothing. I am happy my giant teddy bear cake is useful for something. I still cannot believe Clover Price was killed. It is very sad day. She was difficult woman sometimes, but I don't think people have problem with her that make them kill her. I, well, I don't know. No, I know what you mean. The same thought crossed my mind too. Who could have wanted Miss Price dead? No time to think of this now, detective. Police are all behind shop. Now is chance for you to escape. Yes, you're right. Thank you again. Bye. Right hat piece, killed out of spite. You found a clue, killed out of spite. The Lipsky brothers claim Price was a difficult woman, but not likely to have been killed by someone out of malice. Did somebody accidentally kill her? Like, did she die? Did she trip on something in her own shop? Oh yeah, time to look at stuff. It's always time for a sweet treat. Up another pu There's so many puzzles hidden around. Oh look, there's a puzzle inside this house of sweets. That's right, this is the perfect time for solving lengthy puzzles when the police are hunting you on suspicion of murder. Perfect time. Well, we can't ignore a puzzle, whatever the situation. I mean, you could. You probably really could. Five houses, oh no, it's one of these, isn't it? Houses A, B, C, and E are lined up in a row. Then house D is built. Why would you call it that? Why is D not before E? The diagram shows the five houses viewed from the side and you can see house D in the middle of houses C and E. The diagram also shows the distance between the houses, and you can see that there are 50 meters between houses C and D. How many meters are there between houses D and E? Uh, what? Okay, so there's 10, 10, 20. Hmm. 
Wait, how are C and D 50 meters up? What? What? How many? What? How is there 50 between? Ugh. Is it? Oh, I guess it's just viewed from the side? Or how many meters are between houses D and E? What the hell kind of mad shit is this? I'm not, I'm not having it. When you view the five houses from the side, they appear to be evenly spaced. But how would they look if you viewed them from above? I mean, 50, like, steepled? I'm... Oh, how many meters? Okay, so viewed from the side, there's 50 between C and D. And 20, yeah. Wow. Man, uh, houses, uh, but house D is not a part of it. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. So if they're all built in a row, 50 meters, wouldn't it just be 50 then? This uh, is an interesting one. Okay, it's the same. It's just like built further back, I guess. Uh, oh, that's a big house. You did it. Houses D and E are the same distance apart as houses C and D. House D is bigger than the other houses, but is set farther back and looks about the same size due to perspective. Nobody, well, whatever. God damn it. I mean, it's late and I should, I should be, and I should expect this. Can we move on now? Even in a crisis, you have to find time to keep your mind sharp, Cheryl. Fashion farthings. All right. Yep. I'm glad things are going well for you. I had good news today because my car has been in the shop for like almost three weeks now. And it's been kind of a back and forth where I'm trying to be like, where they, they figured out the problem, but then they apparently had to do more like tear down and checking stuff out and getting a lot of stuff straight before contacting my um, warranty company. And they finally did that and they were like, okay, we had a bit of back and forth, but my warranty co company is covering everything except for like a hundred dollar deductible because I chose a shop that wasn't like the dealership that I bought the car from because that's back in Killeen. But at least I don't have to pay for it. I'm still like, I really wish your guys' communication skills were a bit better, but work is gonna start today and hopefully it'll be done in the next couple of days. I'm just like, man, it took you guys almost three weeks just to like diagnose and call, like figure out the money stuff. Like repairs hadn't even happened. Ugh, but now I know it's happening and that I don't owe a whole lot of money. So we're good. I, I you know, and I was set for rent for the month and, and all that. But um, yeah, it's just been, it's been, also, I changed my I changed my links. Technically, my link tree is still up, but I was using um, the paid link tree thing. But I'm like, it's not even worth it. So now I have that, and I hadn't been using uh, Ko-Fi for a long time. But then I was hanging out with Ellie last night, and we were figuring things out um, because PayPal's kind of meh sometimes, and. She was like, I should use this. And uh, Ko-Fi has like a lot of stuff that I hadn't realized before that would be a lot easier to use. And also it has all my social links there too. And it looks way nicer than the link tree. So, you know, it's fine. I welcome on intro time. Where to now, killer kitty? Shut I'm not a kid. Cheryl, hmm. well, aha, I've got it. We head to the river. Are we gonna jump in? The Thames? Yeah, fishing at a time like this, great idea. No, look, there are police searching for me everywhere. If we don't use our heads, they'll find me. 
That's why I'm suggesting the river. If we get on a boat, we can get far away from here in no time. A boat? That's uh, actually a good idea. I know. I'm impressed with myself. Come along, then, to the river. He loves the river. Oh, wait. Let's talk to you. Do you have a puzzle? You're the spooky house man. Aw, Miss Layton. Good day. Wooster, what a surprise to see you here in the middle of the day. Indeed, ma'am. One is informed that you are sus suspect in a murder inquiry, ma'am. Most troubling. Oh, you've heard already. News travels fast. Is that why you're here? To find out the latest? No, ma'am. Miss White dispatched me on an errand to acquire provisions. Murder? is an egregious charge, ma'am. One would like to express one's sympathies. One is in no doubt of your innocence. Ah, oh, thanks, Wooster. Thank you, Wooster. It's very sweet of you to say so. Wait, I'm going, wait, what? Oh, are you talking about Cat? Yeah, yeah, Cat's kinda, well, there's been a murder, uh, Suspicion and uh oh. Oh the bicycle. I have to use my bicycle. Where's my bicycle? And so we're currently running cause like a new inspector or the chief inspector showed up and he's being kind of an ass and he's hell bent on putting me in prison. He has a very sharp chin. Um and so Ernest was like Ernest and Inspector Hastings are currently like body blocking them so I can figure stuff out. So yeah, we're, we're on the run. You've arrived at By the Thames. Well, we've made it this far without being caught. The wharf was on the other side. Oh, over the bridge, cat, quick. But what if there are police on the bridge? What if I have to talk to Shady? Hey, Shady. Apparently something happened down at Chancellor Lane this morning. Do you know anything about it? Um, no, not really. I just heard there was a big stir about something, but I don't know what. It sounds like the news hasn't spread this far yet, Cheryl. Hmm. But it will, though. It's just, just a matter of time. Okay, um... Oh, it's Poponio, bro. Going to finishing the star fat. Oh, okay. Has it been fairly easy to do the stuff you need to do? Is it? Is it? Is it exactly kind of like the normal get on, do like three to four mundane tasks to get your points and then rinse and repeat? Well, I guess along with like weeklies and stuff, right? Not been too bad to do. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Why are you looking so miserable? Ugh, I'm sick, homesick. I just received a letter from my family in San Grio. Oh, I see. No, I cannot let myself be unhappy. I am selling poponios. Poponios and unhappy are like oil and water. And I also have a new puzzle for you. It came with a letter from my family. Try it. Show me how... Show me how worked your magic with the puzzles. How... Yes. You wish? Oh. <laughs> Well, it's okay. I mean, at least it's it's like a fairly lengthy thing, so you don't have to rush. How can we make the shape in the image by using equilateral triangles of any size? What would be the minimum number of triangles required? Equ oh, um. Uh, uh, uh. I mean... Oh, don't tell me. Oh, don't tell me it's three. I bet it's three. I have a feeling it's three. to solve this now. No, it's not three! <laughs> I thought it was just the corner ones.
Is it the whole image? Try drawing various lines and see what you come up with. Ah, shit. Of any size. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Then it wouldn't be three. It would be four. Sorry, because we'd have to have one as the base. We'd have... We'd have one as the base, and then three. This should do it, I think. Yeah. Okay. I was wrong. That's how it's done. Okay. But I thought logically. Yeah. You did it. If you imagine the small triangles have cut parts out of a big triangle, this forms the shape in the original image. Ah. Because sometimes they use the background as its own thing and not like a part of it. But that was a part of it. When I see you smiling because of the puzzle, it makes me smile, too. I have to be happy to sell the poponios. Hmm. Well, I'm glad I could help. Good luck selling your lovely trinkets. Can I ask, do they sell well? Please, don't ask me that question. In other words, nope. But I'm not about to give up. One day, the whole world will want to buy my poponios. There will be a poponio boom. Well, I don't know. Feels a lot like crypto, but... Okay, the bridge is over there. One day, this, uh, this bored ape will be worth millions. You'll see. You'll see. Um, okay, well, I guess that's... I guess we did it. To the next place! I bet there's gonna be cops there. Uh, finally made it. We can't breathe a sigh of relief yet, Cheryl. Look, there's a policeman on the bridge. I ended up getting Mexican food. It's estimated arrival, 335. We'll see if that holds true. Anyway. Do you think he's looking for us? I'm not sure. Let's stay out of sight and watch him for a while. I should, you know what? Well, it's okay, I'll pay rent tomorrow. <laughs> I, I technically, I have up until the 4th of March to pay rent, but I tend to pay it just like normal times because, you know, as long as I pay it before the 4th, we're good. It's as much traffic crossing the bridge as ever. And remember, if you ever want to feed me or buy me games, you can always donate to my Ko-Fi. You're set up to, yeah, well mine's set up direct. I, mine is kind of set up through my bank account too, but this time I'm gonna have to do it through the card because I do not have enough money in my <laughs> my bank account to cover rent. But I have my credit card, which is fine. I've, it's got a very high limit and I haven't utilized much of it. So I'm like, I'll use it this once and then I'll pay it off when I get my car back. In case you're wondering, it's a thing that I did. Hey, Hound, you're not in a good place, huh? I hear your owner's a killer. Wow, you don't miss w mince words, do you, Yapper? Here for a short visit before sleep? All right, Omega. You know what, no matter how short the visit is, it's always sweet when you're around. I hope that you've had a good day today. I'm in a very good mood. Well, I'm still annoyed with the dealership because they're like, do you want us to start repairs now? And I'm thinking like, you should have started repairs like right after you got off the phone because I told you that the car needs to be fixed. But at least I know it's happening and I don't owe a lot of money and everything's good. Is that direct debit other than gas? Yeah, well I have things spread across credit cards too just in case like I, I'm lean, but I, I always pay my stuff off. Or, or, or pay like rent and everything. It's just obviously I haven't had my car for like three weeks now, and that's how I, that's how I make money. But it's fine as long as it gets fixed. And I go up there and I'm like, "Here's your hundred dollars. Give me my car, you bastards." News travels fast, Ranker, doesn't it? But don't be led astray by everything you hear. For starters, cat's no killer. More importantly, she's not my owner. Wow. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry if I got the wrong end of the stick, Hound. <laughs> So, uh, how's it all gonna work out then, huh? You got a plan? We'll, uh, work something out. All right, I've got to shake a pot. See ya. Okay, well, I thought that there would be more than that. I probably shouldn't talk to the policeman. I had to stay alert. 
maybe I'm supposed to talk to the policeman. I he's gonna give me a puzzle. Also, PC beat, are you literally like the only one around? Is he even blinking? We try to cross the bridge, he'll spot us instantly. No doubt all the other bridges uh, across the river are being patrolled as well. Looks like we're out of luck on that front. But if we can't use the bridges, how can we get to the other side? Hmm, how to get across without the police noticing? Aha, uh -huh. how about something like this? Are we gonna cross under the bridge? Is that is that what you're suggesting? That sounds dangerous. Bridge over troubled water. A triple jump athlete has decided to wow his girlfriend by leaping across a river on floating planks to propose. Wow. On the first hop and the second skip, he can go either forwards, left or right one plank, changing direction if necessary. But on the last jump, why are these all in <laughs> parentheses? He has to continue in the direction he's already moving, leaping over one plank to the plank beyond. He intends to repeat this several times in order to reach the pink plank in front of his girl on the other side. So where should he start? Uh, she's like, dude, you might die. Okay, um... Yeah. Okay, so he goes for... Okay, so if he went to A, let's say he went to... Huh, um... Huh, 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 huh. Nope. Huh, huh. I can't see any way that that would work out. Okay, so I don't think A is the answer. Well, unless he went huh, huh, huh. Then he'd just start there. B either. Well, um, oh my gosh, my brain. Wait, yeah, so one, two, and then three, he has to, okay, he has to go in whatever direction. Did I see? I have not actually. I, I should probably check that out. The last thing I saw was um during the Game Awards. Yeah, God, that's been a while from that, huh? Okay, one, two, hop, one, two, hop, one. has to go over there. But I have to land there. <sighs> hmm. You have some criticisms, but overall you're very hyped. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it looks, I, I still don't really, I, I saw, I, I don't know, did they show like a true gameplay trailer? That's the thing that pisses me off is like, and, and I like what I see for Final Fantasy 16 so far, but also a lot of times they will show everything but gameplay. And I'm like, I need to know, like, don't fucking lie to me and be like, aha, look at all the, gr we already know that you guys can make great cutscenes. That's cool. We need to know the gameplay. It's pure gameplay? Oh, uh, okay. You need to consider the third movie each day, which says, yeah. 
Inner stuck, yes. Okay, so it's definitely not C or D. Let's see. Bump, bump, bump. It's gonna start there anyway. Oh my, like, what the f Maybe it is A. This is, this is really annoying, actually, because it's like, what the f- Cause jumping over there just- uh, yeah. H.J. things that can be adjusted or toggled off for your sanity? Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of games that kind of- Like, and I hope it doesn't need ridiculous specs to run, like Forspoken, but I don't know. A lot of games sometimes punish you for not having, like, the most state of the art, whatever. And I was like, come on, guys, let's not do that. Okay, so C and D don't work. I am. I. I have no fuck. I don't know. I cannot fucking visualize this in my head. So it's just A and B. Let's start from A. Can you go all the way? You're really close. I don't think that's something that it should be in a kid's game. Um, what the fuck? Up. Jump, skip right. Up. Skip right. I'm, oh god, what did it say? Like, I don't, I don't know, guy. This, th I, you'd probably have to like draw it out. I don't got time for that shit. That's the other thing I noticed is there's no like memo function in this game, which kind of sucks. Hop up, then skip and jump right. Hop, skip and jump right again. Repeat that move one more time. Hop right, skip and jump up. Okay, so it's basically saying da da. I don't think. Ah! I'm gonna say B. I don't. I can't. Like, I can't. Nope. Okay, so it's A. It's gotta be A. Like, it's just. Oh god, I cannot like my brain cannot visualize that shit. Like fucking god damn it. So it's, I guess it's just So it's A. It's just A. Okay, cool. Can you please show me how the fuck that works? Wait, is that? Oh, cuz one hot so I fucked up because I kept like not seeing that going up there. Okay, cool. Hey, I don't like that. Does not work well for me. Tongue has my order. Thanks, Tongue. 11 minutes away. Mitsubishi Mirage G4. I wish I had my car. Soon, soon. I think it'll work, Cheryl. This way, we'll be able to get across to the other side of the river without anyone spotting us. Who has a million crates under there? Oh, it's Inspector Hastings, look. So maybe that copper wouldn't have arrested you after all. Uh, mine is a Ford Focus, uh, a hatchback. I don't know, let's listen to another conversation. And apparently they've had issues with transmission stuff before, but yeah. Uh, Hopefully, getting that repaired and the forks swapped out and sleeves and all that, like, future-proofs it for a while. Have you seen her? 
No, sir, no sign of Miss Layton anywhere as yet. Do you, do you think she really did it, sir? What are you talking about, Constable? Of course she didn't do it. Something funny's going on here. I just think of all the cases we've been scratching our heads about that she helped us to solve, eh? All right, sometimes she plays the fool, but her art's in the right place. She's not bent, sure of that. My little lemon said it all. Cat doesn't try to solve her cases. She's always thinking about what's best for everyone involved. She's a rare gem, that woman. Blindingly obvious she isn't a killer. But what if that's her way of covering up her killerness? Yeah, so you're like, and you're like, er, yeah. Yes, sir, I think so too, sir. Thing is, Chief Inspector Britannius is completely convinced that she did it. I don't know what he thinks he's playing at these days. Be honest, sir, I haven't seen much of him lately. You seem to have the limelight a lot more, Inspector Hastings. When I arrived at the scene to find him there, I was quite excited. But then it came to this pretty pass. We used to enjoy a bit of friendly competition, Britannius and me, but I don't know what's going on with his head anymore. Anyway, the point is, as far as I'm concerned, gets innocent. Personally, I'd like to bring her in and work it through it all. We'd soon show she was innocent, I reckon. But Britannius is the investigating officer on this one. And the way he's banging on, I don't fancy Cat's chances if he shows up at the yard. Ah, oh, if only we could find her, we could warn her to stay away for now. Ugh. Come on, Constable, let's look elsewhere. Yes, sir, very good, sir. And, and the thing is, a lot of people like to trash talk Ford, and yes, Ford, I mean, to be fair, every car manufacturer has its problems. The, the problem with Ford is that they're overconfident in stuff because it's an American company. Um, but I mean, they're just like any other car. They have, things are prone to failure. Some things last way longer than others, you know? It's, I don't know. Like, I, I've had pretty good luck with this one aside from this transmission thing. So, like I said, hopefully after that, I'll have no more issues. Hmm. Super old, old super snitches headed off. So, Inspector Hastings believes I'm not guilty. Well, you have worked on a lot of cases together now. Knows you as well as anyone. Well, 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 a rare gem. <laughs> Look at me, I'm blushing. We haven't got time to sit here and watch your tail wag, cat. Let's get over that bridge. Here's what you need to repair is this bad. I... Is that a... I guess a British brand? Because, yeah, like Ford, GMC, um, Chevrolet. Um, those are all American brands. I know Nissan, I think, is Japanese. Um, I think Kia is... Korean or Indian? Um, and Hyundai, I think that's Korean. There's a lot of different brands of car. But, oh, it's French? Oh, okay, yeah. I, I have no idea how that would be set up then. It doesn't help that my car is also 2017, which like isn't super new, but it's new enough that it's a lot of computer controlled bullshit, which is helpful, but also adds to the amount of things that could possibly go wrong with it. Oh, yes, good point. We must hurry to the wharf. To the wharf! I think we only have like two pieces of the puzzle so far though. We've been doing a lot of walking. No sign of the police here. Yeah, so let's get to the wharf while the going's good. And I mean, to be fair, my other car, which, is, which was a Kia, lasted like 10, 11 years? over 100,000 miles on it, like, and Kias have always been kinda looked down upon here, but they've, they've gotten better. I mean, when they first came out, they were actually just a trash car, but I was still sad that it ended up dying on me, but you know, it is what it is. It did what it needed to do for a while. Hello, fish man. Hm, I've been seeing a lot of coppers around lately. Hello again, Mr. Fisher. Do you happen to know what they're investigating? What they're investigating? Hmm. Now that you ask, I feel like I did hear something. Hmm. Or maybe I didn't. Yes, I think I did. Didn't. Hmm. A simple yes or no. That's all we're looking for. Wow, this driver actually made it to the gate. Yay! <laughs> Usually they keep it. The, sometimes the GPS keeps making them go to like the um, keeps making them go to the the park right next to me. Wait, maybe I did hear something. Yes, 
Might be able to fish it out from the depths of my memory. You never know. Give me a minute. I don't know, man. Your brain seems a little jumbled. Oh, no, really, it's no problem. If you don't know, it really doesn't matter. It sounds like word hasn't reached these parts yet, Cheryl. Sounds like nothing's reached his parts, ever. But anyway, we're chasing our tail here. Let's get to the wharf. That's insulting, Cheryl. No sign of police on the opposite bank. We're in the clear for now. Oh, they wanted us to go there. God, a jetty where various vessels dock. It's time to leave. We're leaving. Just get on the boat. It's okay. Okay, I hope this guy is able to make it in. He doesn't seem to be making it past the gate. But the, well, he left. I the the gate like the, the number. It's in the. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Finally. All right, we've made it to the wharf. Now we just need to find a boat. No! Chief Inspector Brita I mean, this guy looks evil. I'm just saying. Oh, wait, maybe he's inside. I, I can't tell. Without saying goodbye first, darling. Chief Inspector Britannius, what are you doing here? It's really very simple, Catriel. Rather like your mind. I told the Chief Inspector you'd definitely attempt to escape my boat. Ameliana, you horrible woman. Ameliana, how did you know, though? I am a professional profiler, you know. It was a simple matter of analyzing your behavioral patterns. It was obvious that you tried to think of a devious way to evade capture, a way to flee as far as possible without with the least effort. In other words, a boat. Don't forget that I've had the dubious pleasure of spending a lot of time in your company. I had plenty of data for analysis. Well, excellent job, Emiliana. You've obviously been paying, playing close attention to the way I work. I'm not sure why you're so happy. You do realize what this means, I presume. Oh, yes, of course. Why did you run away in the first place? You've successfully managed to implicate yourself by doing that. The chief inspector was already convinced I was guilty. Well, as a mm, colleague, let me give you some advice. Come back to the yard, turn yourself in. I appreciate the words of wisdom, Emiliana, but sorry, I'm not turning myself in. Va bene. I had already deduced that would be your answer. But it is futile to run, and in any case, it would be better for everyone if you'd come in and clear this up. Well, we won't know how futile it is unless I try. All right, ladies, I think you had enough of a chit-chat, don't you? You're not getting away from me, Miss Layton. Not a chance. Hmm, amazing what people will do to advance their careers. Hmm, amazing, what people will do to advance their careers. What did you say, Perfetti? Nothing. Oh, uh, no, is this, this man looks like super evil. Like, I mean, look at him, he's got the tiny eyes, he's got way too much nose and chin, uh, very deep V shirt, red. I don't know. His neck is also really long. There's a lot going on. What's our move, Cat? Good question. I think, um, I think we're in a pickle. Catria Layton, give up. I'm going to arrest you now. Sorry, I was never very good at giving up. Or going to the jail. Did Going to jail. But there's no way out, just like in this little puzzle here. Wow, this man is trying to arrest me, and he still has enough time to throw a puzzle at me. Of course, it wouldn't be a latent game otherwise. You're out on the plains. Suddenly, you notice that you're surrounded by three lions. They already have their eyes on you. However, for some reason, they won't attack if two or more of them are in the same sightline distance away from their prey. What? You need to use this to your advantage so that you can make your escape. Find a route to the exit, moving one space at a time, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. Um.
Wait, so if I go... They did it. Yeah! This is an interesting Fuck one. you, lions! Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Okay, well, does that mean I escaped? <laughs> wow. Hello? You did it! You're safe now! What a relief! Wow. Maybe you shouldn't hang around those lions, bro. <clears throat> you you found a solution, but your back's up against the wall. You should be floundering. Sorry, I did say I wasn't good at giving up, didn't I? Bye! <laughs> really? Stop! Catria Layton, stop! Run, Cheryl, run! But where are you going? The boat's the other way. We can't get away on a boat now. The police will be waiting for us. We have to give up on that idea. Let's head to uh, Bolin Hill instead. Bowling Hill, think I'd rather let the cops get us. No, our friends will save us. It'll be fine. All the narrow little streets will help us evade capture. Even if the police follow us, it'll be much easier for us to hide somewhere. All right then, if you say so. Wow, we're really good. We've solved the puzzle of being a fugitive. What are you all just standing there for after her? I'll offer a handsome reward to the first one of you to catch her. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Wow, you were totally on my side, except now you're not. Because of money. Thanks. There's no need to panic, Chief Inspector. But we had her! She was within our grasp, and then she slipped away! Don't worry. Just leave it to me. I have a good idea of where Catriel will go next. Rather than chasing her blindly, let's head her off. That's a far more effective plan. <laughs> yes, I like the cheeky way you think, Perfetti. So, where's that murderer running off to? Oh, it's quite simple. Catriel will try to hide in... Oh, no! Thirst for success. Okay. Chief Inspector Britannias is... Er, yeah. Is desperately pursuing Cat. According to Emiliana, he's driven by a powerful desire to succeed. Yeah. Okay, well, off we go. Go by bicycle. To Bolin Hill, a town within London that's on a steep slope. Always dark, dingy, and dubious. The three Ds. You've arrived at Bolin Green. I wonder if somebody's gonna drop that. Nearly there, Cheryl. We've made it to Bowling Green at last. <laughs> By a gnat's whisker. Why don't we keep that on bugs and stuff, bro? I think I better stash my bicycle somewhere so the police don't find it. Good idea. Not like we can go back to the river of Chancer Lane. We have to lie low here for a while. Oh! <clears throat> What, is it the pigs? I love how he just calls them the pigs. No, look, that's Hans over there, isn't it? Han, bah, nearly giving me a heart attack. Detective, so stupid police still haven't caught you. Good. Actually, Ellie, when you say you're fixing your nails, were you, are you just like re, um, re-gluing them or did you get different ones to put on? Just glue? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, true. I guess that stuff only holds out for so long. Yes, we've managed to outrun them so far, Hans. In no small part, thanks to you and your brother. But what are you doing here? Working. I fixed statue. 
Really? I didn't know you did that kind of work as well. Oh, he's fixing the statue? That thing is definitely gonna break and drop that giant ball. I'm just waiting for a cutscene of everybody running away from the ball. I do all work. We do not drink only tea like you British, and you should not be wasting time here. Wow, that sounds like a big insult. Calm down, Hans. Go into back streets where it's hard to find you. Yes, that's my plan. I wish you luck. That stupid police don't find you. Gosh, he is so anti-cop. Thanks, Hans. Bye. So now we head into the dark and dingy back streets of Poland Hill. Exactly. Come along. She's so happy. Yeah, he has to hold the way to that enormous globe. Tidy hedge. Hint coin. I feel like there's a hidden puzzle somewhere. Yep, right there. But look, cat, there's a puzzle hidden in that street lamp. Oh, well spotted, Cheryl. Let me just see if I can solve it quickly. Oh, well, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> Ghosts and Gifts 3. Oh, this. Little girl is desperate to win a soft toy at the fairground, so she's trying her hand at a game involving ghosts and gifts. You have to line up all of the gifts horizontally, vertically, or diagonally to win. But if you accidentally make a line of ghosts while you're shuffling things around, you lose. Okay. Mm, so. Oh, we can only move. Uh, that's gonna make a line. Oh, why do we only have 12 chances? Oh boy. Wait, it said diagonally. Right, so let's try that. Oh god, okay, never mind. Okay, hands like I don't god, I didn't know it was gonna have a specific number of turns. This it is time you only have a limited number of moves to make a line of gifts. So let's take a step back and think about how best to shuffle things around. One of the diagonals looks promising. The gift box is already close to where they need to be in that case. Well, does that is that a, a yes then? Oh, maybe I just was like doing it wrong. Oh! Two. Oh no! It's so. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Oh, this is so annoying! The oh, fuck? Ugh. Think about your first move. Move the central ghost on the second row from the top. Oh, God. Top row down, and the two ghosts that were previously to the left of it across to the right. Okay. 
Like this? Oh, wait. I think I see what they're getting at. Oh! Okay, okay, got it. Oh, I was just doing it wrong. Got it! Mm, this should do it, I think. And that's how it's done. Thank you. You did it! That was a real challenge, but look at that little girl. She can barely contain her excitement at winning the prize. <laughs> there are puzzles everywhere, aren't there? If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll never be a bored collie again. Exactly! So let's see how many more we can find. If nothing else, it takes my mind off other things. Yeah, like running from the cops. Hint coin. Hint coin. To the next area, Bolin Hill. Hmm, I think we can finally lower our guard a little now, Cheryl. Oh yeah, there's no way the police would spot us here. You barking, we're still out in the open. I suppose you're right. This probably is a little too exposed still. Let's head down some of the smaller streets to somewhere less obvious. Okay. You know, we, yeah, we're just gonna head straight there lollygagging for a while. A road to nowhere and uh, in the road to nowhere that is Bolin Hill. Seems like a terrible place to go to hide from the police, actually. All right, now we can pause for breath. We should be safe here. Well, safe fish. Yes, let's just have a little rest. Uh-oh, there's someone there. What? Where? Oh, yes, over there. It's, uh, is it our... Oh, it's... Hello. It's one of the mouse... Uh, Ratman's. Like a rodent from the gutter, he appears. Crooks and villains tremble in fear. The power mouse of justice is here. Da -da 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 -da. Ratman. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> I know that voice. Is that you, Mr. Chance? Mr. Uh, Chance? Uh, perhaps at first glance, but no, join the dance. I'm Ratman. Sorry, yes, of course. Whew. I'm glad it's you, though, Mr. Ch Ratman, not the police. I was out for a stroll on patrol looking for a troubled soul, and I'd wager I just found one judging by that face so glum. Well, the thing is, the police are after me because they think I murdered Clover Price, the owner of the Lucky Clover on Chancer Lane. I didn't do it, of course, obviously. That's the pits, those rotten crits, accusing you of a crime you didn't commit. <clears throat> yes, very good. Aha, uh -huh, but don't let your spirits fall. I'm well aware of all the deeds you've done, and so are the good people of London. Man, this guy is really kind of not hitting these, these, these so good. Everyone knows Catria Layton's nose is as clean as they uh, goes. So stand tall, rise above it all. Thank you, Ratman. You've given me the strength to carry on. Good to hear, have no fear. Sooner or later, you'll be in the clear. Yes, I'm innocent. I believe the truth will prevail in the end. Although, being on the run like this, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. How long am I going to have to remain a, a fugitive? Who's going to prove that I'm innocent? Talking to yourself again, cat? Yes, I, yes I am. I can't believe I've been so blind. There is no one else who's going to prove my innocence. No one else except me. Aha, a bulb lights in our heroine's noggin. The answer to the riddle comes a knocking. Yes, Miss Layton, it falls to you, but no one's better at getting out of a stew. Justice will be served in due course. <clears throat> Thank you, Ratman. Thanks, Ratman. <laughs> what, a, what a cool guy. Uh, 
All right. So how are you going to do it then, Cat? How are you going to clear your name? By investigating the case and determining who the real culprit is, of course, or was, of course. So we must go straight back to Chancer Lane. But brilliant idea. Hornet's nests are such fun things to walk into. If I don't investigate the scene of the crime, I'll never be able to prove that I didn't do it. We have to get inside the Lucky Clover. I know it's dangerous, but it's a risk we're going to have to take. Ugh, all right. I don't want a brain on your parade. It was your light bulb moment after all. Thank you, Cheryl. And sorry you've been dragged into this. But I can't chat with making exceptions to any mystery solved motto just because the mystery relates to a member of the pack. Otherwise, there's no hope of making any progress on the conversational canine case, is there? But anyway, I don't like that Britannius. I just want to bite him. You should. How dare you accuse you of being a murderer? It's really taking the biscuit. So let's say we find the real killer and show that so and so is very so and so and so, and so wrong. Yes, I'm so in agreement with you. Thanks. God, he's just, he's talking so much now. All right then, Chancellor Lane, here we come. Oh, it's the, the top of the hat. Yes. Proof of innocence. Ratman makes Cat realize she must prove her innocence rather than running away. She and Cheryl resolve to return to the scene of the crime. Off we go. Thanks, Ratman. Go by bicycle to Chancer Lane. Sure, the cops won't be there. Luckily, it wasn't the police then. No, so back to our home territory, yes? I just need to get my bike, Cheryl. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I knew it! I knew it! No! <laughs> Hans! Hans! I hope that, does that... Wait for me. Give me a ride. Let him get in the basket or he's going to die. Well, we'll just, we'll just let the dog die. Jump, Cheryl. Jump. Oh my gosh, it's a puzzle? This is a puzzle? It's, it, the puzzle is that Hans sucks at repairing anything and we're going to die because of it. Thanks, Hans. Oh my God. Get away from that giant ball. It will take a particular route starting on the top left and going down to the bottom right. If you're hit by the ball or have nowhere left to go, you lose. The ball and the bike move at the same time. On each turn, they move only one square. The bike can't travel through any squares it has been through before. Uh... I think I already fucked up. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to? Oh, I did it. Oh, well, that was easy. There that I thought. I was like, what? And I did it. I get, you just, just don't get touched by the ball. You did it. You managed to dodge it nicely. Oh, I put, well, I was on the right side, but either way. Gravity. Oh no! Oh, get out of the way, newspaper man! Okay, it's fine. By the way, we didn't do that. Uh, it, the statue broke. Wait, so where are we now? Oh, we're still on here. Hey, what's going on, Capone? How you doing? Whole new ball game has been added to the puzzle index. That, that was too close for comfort. <sighs> It was a little more exciting uh, than I'd bargained for. We were very nearly flattened. Surely the police couldn't have been behind that, would they? Hard to believe they used such rough tactics, but who else would have done it? I don't know, Hans just, he, he breaks things. It was a bit over the top for the police though. Maybe they're just so desperate to catch you, they've lost all sense of what's right and wrong. I mean, maybe. You played this game on Switch, you hurt. I mean, I guess that's really up to interpretation, Capone. I've been enjoying it, but I will say I have found the story to be like a bit lacking compared to other latent titles. Mostly because every latent title had like 
a purpose generally, like an overarching theme. Whereas um, this is very like case by case, but it hasn't really like had a cohesive full on story yet. Yeah, it, exactly, Capone. That's the problem. It doesn't like the the thing about the other latent games is that it 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 builds and builds and builds and builds, and then you get to like this crazy conclusion. Uh, this has just kind of been like a flat line of excitement, really. Like each case is interesting in its own way, but it doesn't have quite the same feel of the older games of you like getting to that holy crap. This has been going on the whole time type things. I mean, who knows? Maybe the final chapter is like a bit more over the top, but but yeah, there's I, the energy levels are very different. Like considering I'm on chapter 11, which is the semi-final chapter, this feels just like if I was playing chapter one. And granted, meeting all these characters and everything, it's been interesting. And, and it's been like a fun game, but it's it's definitely a far cry, especially if you you played like um, the Azran Legacy or something before this, because that is like insane, you know? Of the new world is I hope so too. If it goes back, I think, to the like true to form, like the latent games before, with the way things worked out, I think that it will be like the best yet. Like, just because, you know, it'll be on the Switch, so you know it's gonna look really good and sound good, and they'll be able to do a lot of like different puzzles and things. So it's like, I feel like it's gonna be good. I'm hoping it's gonna be good. Cause I I I, I really feel like more people should be able to enjoy like latent games which would, it would be great if they like re-released the first um like six games like in a pack or something like that because obviously you can play them on your phone but it'd be kind of cool to have them in other places too you know other than their original ds and 3ds hard hardware looks like Sherl is a giant dog i know he does look huge <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, we'd better be on the lookout for other dangers. And, like, I don't dislike any of the characters. Like, they're definitely charming in their own way, but it's one of the... It's it's another thing where it's a little jarring because, I mean, for so many games, we were the Professor and Luke, and, and sometimes other people. You know? And now it's like, oh, now there's some kids, and you're like, oh, okay, well... But, I, I mean, I, I do enjoy them for what they are. Alright, come on now. Let's head back to the Lucky Clover now. But yeah, it, I mean, I feel like if people enjoyed this game, they would love the original few latent games. Like, no doubt. Still hasn't blocked up that mouse hole then. I call it Bone Idol. Well, they don't really need to. Okay, Chancer Lane. Because, I mean, I, like I said, I had a blast going. Like, as much as I might have, like yelled about some of the puzzles because they made me feel really stupid. I quite enjoyed all of the Layton games thus far. So this is Layton Daughter, is she adopted or I think I'm I'm pretty sure I I, I think Zunder said something about it before, but I'm I'm like ninety nine percent sure she's adopted. Like we're 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 pretty sure at this point that uh Layton does not have a penis. He's just like a Ken doll. Like a true gentleman. <laughs> he does not have sex. Ugh, what a brutish act. So I'm pretty sure that he uh, he adopted her. Because even though he looks quite a bit older, I feel like he would have to he would have to look a lot older if he knew her when she was like born or something. But that's what it's I mean, I guess. I look, the thing is, everybody wants to bone down on Leighton, and Leighton's like, hold on a second. I got a puzzle to solve, and then it just never happens, you know? It's okay. He just, he enjoys the finer things in life, like puzzles. No, oh no, the sliding puzzles are my bane. Uh, the, the bane of my existence. I, um, I did one earlier and I'm like, and certain things, cause I can't like visualize like 10 steps ahead where I'll be if I mess around with stuff. So I'll keep doing like the same thing over and over and being like, I can't figure this out. Yeah, de depending on them. Sometimes they're like so absurdly easy or like there's no way this could be the answer. And it's totally the answer. And you're like, game, please don't do this to me. 
There's not a police officer in sight here on Chancellor Lane. Well, there's a surprise. I was sure they'd be out in force here, waiting for me to come back. Hmm. Do you think he's given up on trying to catch you? Chief Inspector Britianus? <laughs> not likely. He doesn't strike me as the type to give in easily. No, I'm afraid. He's a dogged one, all right. Like, there was one earlier where there were five houses, and they were like, these houses were all built at the same time, except for this one. And it's like, this house is this many meters away from this house. How far apart are these houses? And I was like, there's no way it could be that easy. And I put in the answer, and it was the answer. And I was like, it's the same distance as the other house. They gave us the answer, but they also just told us a bunch of bullshit to, like, confuse us. Just like high school. Ciao, signorina. What are you doing back here? Oh, sorry. I know you tried to help me get away before. Um, there's just something I need to do at the scene of the crime. But maybe it's been solved already? Is that why there are no police around here now? I wish it had, but I hadn't heard anything like that. There were police up and down the whole street until not long ago, but suddenly they all disappeared. Attention to something and that thing is un- Yeah, yeah! Stuff like that gets me. That kind of like... That that kind of like misdirection. Like right in the- I'm like, I'm like, you guys lied to me. Why would you do this? My brain already hurts enough doing these puzzles. You don't have to trick me like that. Hmm, I see. Wonder where they all went. Well, let's not waste our chance to get inside the Lucky Clover, Cheryl. Come along. What if they're all inside the Lucky Clover waiting for you to go there so that they can put you in the jail? They're gonna put you in the jail! I will say one of the things that gets me about this game, um, because I haven't noticed it, uh, maybe it's because of the fact that um, this the Switch doesn't have a stylus, but like every other latent game, has a mem memo function uh, when you're doing puzzles that's actually incredibly helpful even if I didn't use it as much as I should have. But this one has zero memo functions. So if you're in something that involves a maze or other things where it'd be easier if you could draw out your path, you just have to like, you just have to visualize it. And a lot of times I can't really do that very well because my brain is just like, this is a lot to try to do. This is a lot to process. Like, trying to imagine, like, a 3D object in my head. Like, w when they're like, build a cube, I'm like, uh, I can't, uh, uh, I know they have six sides, and that's where I start, like, smoking out the ears. Hmm, there aren't even any police in the shop now. At the scene of the crime, you'd expect at least one or two plods to be here, wouldn't you? Well, this is a chance to, then, isn't it? Get to investigating. Okay, let's look at that. Curious Village, The Last Spectre, and you see the videos of the other games you've played? This? Yeah. Yeah. I've actually played every single Layton game, uh, and this is the, the, the last one that I have to finish before the World of Steam. Um, because I think there were a couple of offshoots, but they didn't really... I mean, I even played, like I said, I played the Phoenix Wright versus um, Professor Layton game, which is fucking fantastic like it it, it kind of like takes the best of both it, it's it's honestly my favorite like phoenix wright title too <laughs> oh man but yeah look Cheryl, do you see the chalk outline that must be where she was found yeah other than that we have no idea this was a murder scene no it looks completely normal doesn't it the displays and shelves don't appear to have been disturbed. It's hard to imagine that the theft was... Theft was the motive in that case. Perhaps it was someone who knew. Someone who held a grudge. I bet this chick isn't dead. They kidnapped her and put her somewhere. They drew a line on the ground to say that she had been murdered and the policeman there. And he's trying really hard to get a promotion. I don't know. That's possible. It would explain why there are no signs of a struggle. Yeah, I will say I do actually have um, Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box on D. Like, I have the cartridge. It's, like, the only one that I actually physically own, sadly. 
but I enjoyed the hell out of it playing it like on the DS. So I'm like, man, I wish I owned the rest of them, but they're also insanely expensive on eBay to get physical copies. Oh, I love this. Oh, I suppose this isn't the time to be trying on clothes though. It's okay, I mean, just try on whatever. Selling all these accessories as well. Miss Price was a shrewd businesswoman. Is that the hat? That's an awkward place to display your goods, isn't it? Or does it look high from all the way down here? She always used that mannequin's head up there to showcase her finest hats. Oh my god. What if she was trying to get up there to get the hat down and fell and died? Oh no. Hmm, wait a minute though. That's a little odd. What's odd? Other than the workings of her mind. Well, when I came in here last night, that hat was straight. Now it's at an angle. Told you, the workings of your mind are odd. Who remembers something like that? I do, and I'm sure I'm right, because I remember looking longingly at that very hat yesterday evening. So you're saying that between then and now, somebody tipped the hat, the fiend. That is what I'm saying, yes, and I can't imagine Miss Price doing it, so it was perhaps the killer. Yes, gravity was the killer. All right, I take it all back. Perhaps you're onto something. Let's investigate. Don't mind if I do. I'll just fetch the mannequin's head down. Oh, oh, oh! What's that? Its head is dented out of shape. Look. Was it always like that? I don't know. There was always a hat on it, so I wouldn't have been able to see. Hmm, I wonder when it got damaged. It fell and hit her on the head. Oh no! Dented mannequin. I think you only had to look online for one puzzle. One of the final puzzles in one of the games. There's a two part sliding puzzle. Oh no! 170 moves minimum, yeah. Yeah, it's. Some of those were insane. I looked up a guide and it was like, yeah, this takes like 60 moves. And I'm like, who? Why? Why? Look, Capone, I'm not gonna lie. I had to look up quite a few puzzles while I was going through some of the games because I was just like, I can't figure this out. And, and the other games are not quite as liberal in the hit coin distribution as this game. Like, I've had over 100 hit coins for a while here, but there were actually points in some of the other games where I would get, like, low on hit coins. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, how... It makes you wonder, like, I'm so happy for the people who have made those guides, because I'm like, you guys had to go through some bullshit to get these answers, like, seriously. The hat on the mannequin's head in the Lucky Clover. Oh, oh, they messed up. The Lucy Clover. <laughs> is that a tilt now, despite being straight when Cat left the shop last night? The head is also dented. Doesn't sit right with me. There's no signs of anything out of the ordinary here at all, other than the outline of a dead body. And, if it's relevant, the dent in the mannequin's head. Typo, send it back. Yeah, exactly. I want my money back. It's okay. That's the only one I've seen so far, which is pretty good this far into the game. Yeah, it's relevant. I wonder. Uh-oh. What is it, Cheryl? Someone's coming in. It could be the fuzz. It's Miss Price. It's not Miss Price. It's Emiliana. Oh, Laura, I'm right. I thought you'd be here, Catriel. Ah, oh, Emiliana, just as I expected. Oh, you were expecting me? Of course, you are a professional profiler, you know. I had a hunch you that... I thought you'd have a hunch that I'd come back here. I don't operate on hunches, Catriel. You might, but I prefer hard facts and scientific analysis. I, I like Emiliana, but she's also, like... She's a Sundere character, which is a character that I'm not super fond of. A character archetype I don't like. You know, the people who who like you and want to be friends with you, but act like assholes the entire time because they're like, no, there's no way I'd be able to uh, be, be friends with someone like you. It's like, just shut up and say you want to be friends. Don't be annoying about it, please. But I, I, I think she's a, she's kind of a fun little rival character. And she's much less of an asshole than um, <laughs> Leighton's rival character. Oh my god. 
And sh the Chief Inspector Britianus will be joining us? No, he won't be coming. I fed him some bogus information. He is currently investigating some random and completely unrelated location. Oh, I see. So it was you who cleared all the police out of Chancellor Lane, was it? You gave them a false lead. Correct. But don't imagine that I did it for your benefit. You did. Shut up. This is what I'm talking about. Like, I didn't do it for you, even though I totally did it for you. But overall, I, I think that I like her character design. And I'm like, you know what? She seems, at, at least she's very serious about her job. I can understand why she gets annoyed with Catriel, because Catriel is kind of uh, out there. <laughs> even if she gets stuff done. At first, I thought we needed to catch you in order to get the truth of this matter, but I was wrong. Sorry? Britia uh, yeah. Britannius has clearly jumped to conclusions here. He hasn't investigated thoroughly enough at all. His deductions are totally flawed. All I want to see is a proper investigation carried out. No corner cuts. I don't like that. You know who she reminds me of? She makes me think of fucking Edgeworth from Phoenix Wright. They've got the same kind of dynamic where Phoenix is like, I want the truth, and da da da. And Edgeworth is like, I also want the truth, but uh, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna be friends, and I'm gonna be angry about it the entire time. She just has way less ascot than, uh, than Edgeworth. Nails done, and now you're back to being handicapped. It's fine. You know what? Ellie, you may be handicapped, but at least you're handicapped and fabulous, which I don't know if that's actually, I'm sorry, anybody, out. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that was, a, if that was really a terrible thing to say or not, but you know what I mean, don't worry about it. All I want to see is a proper investigation carried out. No corners cut, I don't like that. Yeah, I'm like, uh, sorry, uh, you guys are all fashionable and, and fantastic, yes. In other words, you don't think I did it. I, I I never said that. A proper investigation is all I said. Yeah, you, uh, you gotta do the glasses thing where you're like, oh, no, I'm not your friend. Hmm, that still sounds a lot like you believe that I'm innocent. Ah, that may. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I do believe you're innocent. That would be based on evidence, not on some misplaced loyalty. the thing about a concept arc of I feel like Capone I feel like they're gonna kind of like leave off um probably because he looks like I think he's older still so and not but not like old as in what we saw here so I'm going to assume that it's going to be a follow-up to Azran Legacy like I I feel like it's or not Azran Legacy even to um well it might be because Azran Legacy was technically the end of the prequel arc and then the unwound future was the final, final one. So maybe it'll happen under the after the unwound future. So we'll, we'll see. Because either way, Luke was still young then. But I, I don't know if they'd, they'd age him up at all or not. Because Leighton kind of looks the same unless he's fluffy-headed Leighton. Or the beginning of here where he was Leighton with age lines. So do you have evidence? As a matter of fact, I do. I know that you've been telling the truth. That in itself is evidence. I can immediately tell when somebody is lying. You see, it's quite simple. Just like in this puzzle. No! Emiliana, come on, we're having a moment. <laughs> truth lies in a box of balls? Yeah, no, like Capone, I was, when I saw that, I was very, very emotional. I was like, oh man. Like, that's why I still think that the Unwound Future is, like, my favorite, because it is the most emotionally compelling. Although, Azran Legacy, like, oof. There's a lot going on in there, too. But, like, Unwound Future is definitely like, man, Leighton has seen some shit. His bro has had to deal with a lot in his life. Four people are talking next to a box with a 4x4 four four grid. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. Here's what each person says. A. There are two balls in each vertical line. B. There's one ball in each horizontal line. C. 
There's a ball in each of the four corners. D. The only person lying here is A. Two of the four people are lying. Okay. Each slot can take one ball. So how many balls are in the box in total? What? This is so complicated. Okay. Uh... Two of the four people are lying. There are two balls in each vertical line, which would be eight. But if A is lying... Okay, so D has to be lying. D, D is automatically a liar. Um... Yeah, DC, because there's no way that A there's no way that D can be right because there are two liars. Which means that D is immediately lying because the two people are lying. Which means that A is probably not lying then. Um. Ball in each of the four corners. There's a ball, one ball in each horizontal line. No, so, okay. I think, I think it's D and B. I think D and B are lying because if there are two balls in each vertical line, um, then they'd have to overlap. And one ball in each, yeah, one ball in each, let's say, and then there's a ball in each of the four corners. So. I think it would be eight. I feel like it's eight. Because if there's one in each corner, and then that would that would immediately put two and two on each side, and then two and two there, and each two balls in each vertical line. So yeah, it would be. I'm gonna go with eight. That seems really simple, but I see how to solve this now. I got it! Yay! Okay. Woo! If it, it's probably gonna be like a cross shape, like I thought. Yeah. There are eight balls in total. Only A and C stories tie in with each other. B and D were lying. Honesty is the best policy. Hell yeah. I, I see. Sometimes this game makes me feel like a genius, and sometimes it makes me feel like I need to go back to like grade school. So, you're a walking lie detector, Emiliana. <laughs> I see you haven't lost your sense of humor despite being the focus of a manhunt. Alora, as a favor, I'll show you some interesting data. This is... This is the autopsy report. Oh my gosh. We just, we just phoenix right in our way into this. Does it say she's bad? I knew that already. Cheryl, that's... Well, there's more than that. Let's see. Oh, look at this. She suffered a blow to the head. Hmm. There's a mannequin up there. And bruising to the chest? What does that all tell us? Hmm, bruising to the chest. Yes, that's something of a mystery, I admit. If I'm reading this correctly, the chest injuries had nothing to do with the cause of death. Is that right? Yes, it is unclear how those injuries came about. The cranial blow was the clear cause of death. Hmm. It seems probable the victim was struck heavily with a blunt object of some description. Hmm. Anyway, that's all the information I'm able to give you. You're on your own now. I already know. Something happened. She bumped. She must have, like, bumped the drawer or something, and then the mannequin fell down. And then I guess when the cops came, they put it back? The one where you have to put the cor- Oh, yeah. I remember you talked about that. Oh, you know the ones that got me to Capone? The ones where they're like, move one matchstick to make this happen. And I'm like, oh my god. Like, please. The the dog puzzle from, like, the very first game. <laughs> where they're like, this is a dog. Now move one matchstick to make it look like the dog got ran over by a car. And I was like, who thought of this puzzle? Thank you, Emiliana. I really appreciate it. Don't thank me. The only reason I did this was because I can't stand to see anyone falsely accused. And 
my profiling clearly shows that the culprit in this case bears no resemblance to you whatsoever. Not to mention... Not to mention what? Not to mention that despite our differences, I can see that you're obviously well-intentioned and honest. That's, uh, very big of you to say so. You are not the killer. That is what my profiling demonstrates. Now it's up to you to prove my profiling accurate. Goodbye, Catriel. So after all that yapping, it turns out that Perfect Storm is on our side. Yes, and she's a very valuable ally. The real puzzle now is that bruising on Miss Clover's chest. How did it get there? She died here in the shop from a blow to the head. No signs of a struggle, the dented mannequin's head on top of the cabinet, and the bruising on the victim's chest. Aha! I wonder! Oh no, did she have like... Well, I don't know if that means that she had thoracic bruising. Okay. Yeah, we solved the puzzle of the dead woman. You're wrong, Emiliana. I am the kill killer. Ha ha! She just like runs away. She takes off her mask and she tur it turns out that she's, um... God, what is the dude's name from the other... The, the evil dude who's, uh... Um... Well, I guess he's not really evil. He's just more like a mad scientist. Um, Layton's rival in the first few games. Yes! That's it! I would love if he was just like, Aha, it was me! And takes off the mask. God, I love that guy. He was so dumb. But, like, he also tried to kill us in hilarious ways. Oh, man. According to the post-mortem report, it was a blow to the head that killed Price. There was also considerable bruising on her chest. Why? She was suffering from a vitamin deficiency. Yes, of course. Now I know exactly what happened here. You do? I do, and I can prove my own innocence. So why was she killed? That's what got me scratching. Scratching my head, I mean. I haven't got fleas. Yeah, I know. I think that was like the biggest mystery because that man was like five times her size. And poor Flora, she kept getting like left out of everything. The person with all the answers will be here soon enough. All we have to do is wait. The killer's coming here. Okay, cutscene. Hello? Catria Layton. Um, here you are. He sounds now exactly like you. I thought he would Hello, sound. <laughs> I Why love this. You? Good. Miss Layton. Cat. Is it you who's got me or the other way around? What? <laughs> What? This mystery is history. Yes, the orchestrator of this plot is someone driven by extreme jealousy. Jealousy of my success. Isn't that right, Chief Inspector Royal Britannius? No, oh, please. <laughs> You're behind all this, aren't you? You're the one who set me up. And I, of course, am innocent. <laughs> what are you saying, Cat? The Chief Inspector? Really? Yeah. Are you off your rocker? Explain yourself. I mean, you can only tell that he's dishonest because of his tiny face compared to your giant face. The two of you have always competed with one another for success in your careers. But you've been losing more and more ground each day recently, haven't you, Chief Inspector? So you concocted an elaborate plan. Uh, oops, excuse me. What plan? When you found out that Inspector Hastings was benefiting from my puzzle-solving skills, Ooh. you started thinking... For a Luda. You decided to frame me for murder. Oh, no. And discredit your rival as someone who solicits the help of criminals at the same time. She's got it wrong, hasn't she, Britannius? Huh? I thought it was always just friendly rivalry between us. How could you do something like this? I mean, murder? Uh, let's not jump to conclusions, Inspector. Yeah. Your colleague may be a right royal pain in the Britannius, ah, but a murder really? he is not. <laughs> wow. You've lost me. Ms. Price was trying to fetch down a mannequin's head from on top of a cabinet. I fucking called it! Oh, that's the saddest way to die. Unfortunately, it fell on top of her, striking her a deadly blow to the skull. But you said Britannia's planned it. 
How could he have planned that? You have the order of events in reverse. The chief inspector was the person who discovered Ms. Price's body. And he was all like, "Ah, oh, man. It was only afterwards that he conceived of this whole plan. Which, I mean, in itself is kind of admirable, but also terrible. You really wanted to get ahead that badly? I was born with nothing, you know. Absolutely nothing. Well, now you're gonna be. Now you're gonna have For even me, less. Power and prosperity is the be all and end all. Wow, okay. If you beat me to the top, I'd be a failure again. A nothing. A nobody. It was the extent of the bruising on Miss Price's body that mystified me at first. But it was because of how hard you tried to resuscitate her. Oh, that's oh, that's sad. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Poor that's woman. I was about to say. I was like, I was like, maybe she like hit the shelf or something. So I think that proves it. A merciless competitor? Yes. A murderer? No. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hastings? An asshole? Oh, definitely. I suppose that just about sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, sad. Well, the incident involving Miss Price was a very sad affair all around. And I didn't even get the hat. But the people of Chancellor Lane came through for me. Thanks to them, I was able to clear up the false accusation of murder for which I was so heinously framed. Trying to save someone to tamper? Yes! Yeah! Like, I, they're probably gonna be like, oh no, he's still he's still the chief inspector. Like, no, brah. He was trying to save the life, and then he was like, well, I can't save their life, so I better destroy somebody else's career. Like, that's, that's quite the mood swing there, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, like, Jesus. This girl needs to go to jail. What you, dang. Whew! Multiple new case coda. What do you mean case codas? A new case has been pinned on the office board. Diamonds aren't forever. A curious invitation arrives at the agency. It's for a puzzle party to win a famous fortune. But who is the host? Lord Otamus. Oh, this seems pretty sick. Okay, so this is... Yeah, it's a frog. Remember the frog? That, yeah, it went. I know that. Like, like I knew that she had gotten the thing dropped on her head, but then there was like, but he also tried to resuscitate her so hard, and I'm just like, geez, guys. Oh man. But yeah, I think we'll we'll probably save this for for another day because this. This one alone took like three hours. If this is like any other latent game, I feel like the final chapter or final case is gonna be quite the doozy. So I think I'll leave that for another day. But man, I'm glad we're almost done with this game. Like I've had fun with it, I'm not gonna lie. Like I feel like people who gave it a whole lot of shit um, were probably just like very nostalgic for the other latent games. Granted, I will agree that like it doesn't have nearly the buildup that the other ones have had, but it's still charming. I like the puzzles, unless they make me feel especially stupid, uh, and it's it's very cute. But I'm I'm hoping that there's a return to form with World of Steam um, when it comes out, for sure. 